Hey folks, welcome to Rayman Origins. So, those who might know the franchise would know this is a platformer. And, you know, Rayman is a franchise I'm not 100% familiar with. This I've only played through this game once previously, and I have played Rayman 2, the 3DS port anyway, which was alright, and a little bit of Rayman 3, and that's it. Anyway, let's get us started. I want to use Cloud Save, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, thank you. So, yes, this is a 2D platformer. I'm playing the 360 version, as you may be able to tell. Anyway, let's just get into it. This game is very nonsensical and silly, and it is great. But yeah, there's not much of a story, but anyway, there is a little cutscene. And it is very strange, as you might expect. Yeah, they're all snoring or something, I don't know. It's it's weird. And apparently these guys don't appreciate it or something. Not good enough, apparently. <laughs> Very comical. And yeah, that's pretty much all the story we're getting. Anyway, I believe we need to do something. Yes, we can jump out. Now, we need to free our friends, yes. So yeah, if that intro didn't make any sense at all, I agree. It, it doesn't really. Yes, so we need electoons. They are important. Uh, I think we can exit if we go that way. What's this way? Probably not much. There's a dude over here. We'll, we'll be dealing with him much later. We can't do much with him yet. Yes, we just head to the right. And yes, we are straight into the pseudo first level. I don't know if this actually counts as its own level. I can't remember. No, it does not. So yeah, Snoring Tree is just sort of a place you can go back to. We'll get to that a bit later. So here we... Anyway, this is our world map. And Gibberish Jungle is the first place! And it's the first level. So yeah, this is the first level. The other thing before was just the loading screen. Um... What is there to say? So yeah, that intro didn't make much sense. Basically, I think those... the dudes that got real mad, I think they called the Dark Tunes or something like that. And um... they didn't appreciate Rayman and Co's snoring, so they went to war against them or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I suppose I should go over some controls. Have a guess what the jump button is. If you guessed A, you'd be correct. And uh, pretty much all we can do is move and jump at the moment. You can also hold down the right trigger to sprint, and that is quite important, and you should be doing it all the damn time. And uh, here's a lady. So of course we're going to go help. Being the kind the kind people we are. And there's enemies to jump on. We should be collecting these. These are... these are looms, I believe they're called. Most people would pronounce them lums, but apparently they're pronounced looms. But I, I can guarantee you there'll be some point in this Let's Play where I will call them lums. It'll happen. 
And that's a Loom King. Um, if you touch him, it makes all the, the looms work double or something like that. I believe that's the case. Anyway, jump on some things. And this big dude opens up for some reason. We can't go over there yet. Here we go. And a bonk. So, I don't really know who this is. Apparently, she's from Rayman 1. So I've heard. That's all I know. But uh, she's gonna give us the power to punch things. Yay! So yeah, now we can just beat our way through this stuff. Which we should do. Because they give us more looms. We will need lots of those. Bash through here. And sent back over here. So basically, when you hit an enemy, they kind of go into that bubbly form for some reason. And then you can hit them again. And uh, that's, that's how they die. Anyway, we just picked up a heart there. Hearts are basically like uh, an extra hit. You could say it's like a mushroom in Mario or something. Up here, this makes a platform. Oh god, that was nearly disastrous. That that actually was disastrous. I'm terrible, apparently. Up here, that's all these dudes. Don't want to go in there just yet. Ooh, I should try to get this, but this could be a dangerous jump. So that's a... Uh, I think it's called a Skull Coin. I believe it just gives you a bunch of looms if you get it. Just jump over like that. There we go. Yeah, it gave us a bunch. And then we have this little... I think this might be the last room. So you might have seen that cage over there. Uh, we have to beat every enemy in the room to unlock it. And there's this guy shooting missiles. Jump on him. There we go. And... well, bam ground pound and open it up. And so that's our first elect tune. Basically at the end of every level you see like that little metal will pop up and it'll tell you how many you get. There's a certain number to get in each level. Uh, there'll be some you can get from cages and there'll be others you get from collecting looms. In this case we have got both I believe. Yes, lovely. First level, can't expect too much. Ta-da! And yeah, there's a big metal thing if you get a lot. I don't know if it's every loom in the level, but it's a lot. And they don't really do much apart from saying, Hey, you got them all. Well done. Oh yeah, and you can mess about in the loading screens. So that's that one done. And yeah, when you look at the level, it'll tell you how many looms you got and the amount of electoons you got. So what we do with electoons is they're sort of like the collectibles of the game. They are optional, but we are going to need to get a certain amount. I can't remember exactly how many it is. It might be 180 or 240 or something like that. I can't remember. It's not everyone in the game, I remember. Anyway, on to the next one, which is apparently Geyser Blowout. Oh yeah, and here's a hat. Punch this guy to talk to. Yes, looms. And they're illuminating. Get it? Yep, Skull Coins, we know about those. He just worth 25 looms, yes. And that's about the Loom King. Yep, double looms, that's what I thought. And yeah, he, this guy is just really interested in him. For some reason. Anyway, that's enough of you. Let's move on. Ooh, Heart could use that. Thank you. That's on you. Uh, this is interestingly timed. <laughs> this could take a minute. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. There we go. Up. Thank you. Through here. Ooh, that was good. Well, I messed... Uh, didn't I mess that one up? Oh, boy. Yeah, when you get the Loom King, you want to book it to try to get as many as you possibly can. Here's another one. That was interesting. Swing on these things. Yeah. Alright, nice. And that that's a secret down there. So we go in here, and there is a cage in here to get. So we can just bounce on these guys, or we can just do that. That works too. And we get the happy music as we rescue one. So here we can see there's three cages in this level. We will be guaranteed to get one, because there's one cage at the end of every level. The other two are hidden away in little secret doors like the one we just found. 
We want to try to find as many of those as we can because that's more electoons for us and those are going to be important. Uh, I want this. Oh, I see the problem. Okay. Up we go. That was... Oh. I was going to say, that wasn't very many. Uh, I think you get extra looms if you get a heart that you don't need yet. Uh, let's just crouch down like that. Oh yeah, and you can wall jump as well. We don't need to there though. And yes, the game telling us how to sprint. Don't worry, I already told you. It's all good. Lines. And run under here. Uh, that is a dude we should probably kill, like so. And I bet this is a secret. Yep. You'll be able to know when one's in the area, you'll hear them like being, help me, and stuff like that. So that's how you... Oh, I just killed myself, didn't I? I sure did. That was very smart. Let's, let's try that again. Just punch it once this time. There we go. See ya. And then remake platforms. Wouldn't mind getting the looms off of these guys. I only got one. That's fine. Punch you. And we'll bam. Oh yeah, and the ground pound is just X in the air, down and X in the air. Same as all the other attacks. Up we go, more looms to get. Uh, so, my main concern with this Let's Play is that it's a platformer and that there won't be much to talk about. That is my worry. I may have to come up with some topics to talk about during levels, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Because there's only so much I can say about, oh look, I'm jumping over here, I'm jumping over there, isn't this great? I don't know. <laughs> no, I want those! Okay. How do I get that one? Um... Oh, that's how. Uh, get up there. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, and these ones you can hit a bunch. Give me that last one. Thank you. Uh, there's a heart in that thing. Yeah, it just gives you five looms. Okay. That was interesting. Hey, quit, quit, quit circling around there, buddy. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> that was disastrous. Let's let's not do that. Getting getting crushed is bad. Yeah, let's just do it this way. There we go. That was not hard. I'm just terrible. Except, how do I get up there? <laughs> um. Get up. There we go. <laughs> that was interesting. So yeah, there's the three electoons. Uh, you may notice that timed one in the middle. We'll get to that later on. Probably much later on, in fact. If you can guess, there's like a time trial mode that you can do, which is once again optional. I will probably get to those at some stage. Anyway, we've got enough electoons for this level. I mean, that's five, which is heaps for right now. Boom. <laughs> Must make the loading screens entertaining. Yeah, you see the little clock there on the left? We, we can do those later if we want. And yeah, new character. So that's what I was talking about with the snoring tree. It's like a place if you want to change your character, you can. I'm going to stick with normal Rayman, but there's plenty of options, and you usually get those just by getting a bunch of electrons. Uh, This is a secret thing, or side thing. Yes, tricky treasure level. We need For this one, we need 25. We'll need to do all of these at some point. Or I'll talk more about those when we get to them. On to the next one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. More things, what do you have to say? Yes, we know. Ah yes, this is about... I'll show you actually. Yeah, ground attacks, we know. Looms, we know. Okay, so... 
If you go over, you can actually charge up your attack by just holding down the X button, release, and it'll get all the looms at once. Which I probably should have done before, but I just didn't think to do it. Smash through here, there we go. Open this up. Ah. <laughs> I'm used to having some of the later abilities we'll get. We'll, we'll get to them when we do, but... Open you, okay, we can just wall jump for this, there we go. I did see those down there, and I want them. No, don't climb up. There we go. Ah, just do it this way, it's faster. Here we go. And I want these too. Ooh, that's a bad idea. Let's let's go the way we're supposed to, which is <laughs> from the left. Um Ah, here we go. Oh, that was close. I saw those appear. Where are they? Nice. Heh <laughs> heh. I'm guessing it's death down here. Just gonna check though. Ooh, it's not. It's a secret. Yes, yes, I know. Yep, here's where we learn the ground pound. And that opens up this thing. Okay. So one thing, the uh, the attack you get while sprinting, you do this thing. It's actually really useful, for reasons you might not expect. Basically, if you attack while sprinting and then jump straight afterwards, you'll get a big boost to how, how far you can jump, which is really useful. It's something that you kind of just have to figure out on your own. Uh, that was not what I had in mind. There we go. Get you open. Moon King, time to just speed run. Did not get as many as I could have. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I'm guessing there's something to the left, though. There is indeed. Hey guys, uh, what do we do about you? This might do the trick. It certainly did. And then I die trying to get to the cage, imagine that. Ugh, nearly did too. Yeah, if that was me attacking in the air, if you attack in the air it kind of stalls your falling for a second. So sometimes it's good to do that. Because you get a little tiny bit of extra distance. Onward. You're in a terrible spot, sir. Well, I missed the... there we go. <laughs> Ooh, I do want that. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, never mind, I missed it. Too bad. <laughs> We're just gonna move on. Yeah, up we go. And that looks like something down there. Sure was. Yeah, the the hidden cages in the first probably few areas, like few worlds, aren't too hard to find. They do get pretty tricky later on though. That was a very easy one. <laughs> and get used to that amazing dance Rayman does. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Slide under. See if we can land on this guy. Yes, we can. Hey. Alright. Ooh, actually, I could do with that. Nice. That was unusual. Ooh. I'm gonna wait to see if I can get that one. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's go back and see how we get that skull coin. Ah! Uh, <laughs> indecisiveness. It is the killer in platform games. Oh god! Okay. Pfft, I am so bad. <laughs> let's wait for this one. There we go. What am I doing? I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about that one. Should take us back to this screen though, yeah.
Ooh, didn't see this. Oh, that makes things easier. Uh, let's do this first. Nice. Push that open. Okay, now back we go. This time with less sucking. Alright. No! <laughs> Why am I so bad? <laughs> there. Make it a bit more precise. Oh, good start, good start. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so hitting that blue thing got rid of the, the spiky dudes. There isn't always one of those around, though. Like, how do we get this one? Uh, what if we... Yes. It's because we had a bit of extra force we were using the ground pound that actually bounced us a little bit higher. I'm guessing we're gonna need 300, but that's alright. We did miss, like, a single skull coin, I think. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm happy if I get all the cages, usually. The, the, the loom ones, probably not gonna get most of those, like, especially in the later levels. Yeah, I thought so. Needed 300 for the second one. If I'd got the skull coin I missed, we would have that, but oh well. Not a big deal. Unfortunately, you can't skip this, so get used to that as well. I want to go this way instead. Nope, game's having none of it. Alright, go with the flow. Right, more things. Yep, <laughs> like we figured out last time. Yep, you can slide as well. Alright, great. Yeah, the game's really generous with the hearts, usually. At least in the opening areas. That was not what I meant to do at all, and I don't know why... I didn't mean to do that, either. <laughs> that was disastrous. Everything's disastrous, apparently, in this video. So, down. Over. Down. Right, let's not mess up this time. Still got hit, but that's okay. Oh, right! If you get hit when you get in the skull coin, you lose it. That's why it sort of lingers for a second before it actually activates. Yeah, and I'm just terrible. All right. Third time's the charm, right? Okay, let's not mess up. Maybe we'll wait for it. <laughs> Come on. I will accept that. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. There we go. Hello. Ooh. Didn't even see that guy. Good, I needed the heart this time. Hey, let me over there. There we go. All the looms, please. That was alright. Come on, there we go. Uh, what's this do? Gets rid of you. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? Uh, skull coin up there. Hmm. Smash that open. And that one. Hmm. Oh, wait, can I go back? I reckon the cage is back this way. Because I didn't see what's down here. That looks like death, actually. Yep, what about over here? 
Oh, right. We can't dive yet. I forgot. Hmm. Ah, here we go. The camera didn't pan down earlier. Oh, well. Good. I'm glad I didn't miss that. Oh, God! <laughs> I will accept that as well. <laughs> Jeez. Amazing dance. Okay. Back up. Oi. I said back up. No. You know what? Just wall jump. There we go. Onward now. You're in the way. Not anymore, you know. Missed some. Oh well. Yes, I do need that heart, thank you. Uh, I wish I could see what was up. Uh, we can just do this, maybe. There we go. No, don't land on the thing. Oh, God. Well, let's get this first. There we are. Alright, let's watch me die from this. I'm calling it now. No, nope, maybe not. Alright, not bad. Eh. Ooh, there's a heart down there. I probably can't get it now. Oh well. No way that with that spiky dude. Oh, there's one right here. Wow. <laughs> I was not kidding when I said they were generous with the hearts. Figured there was a secret over here, and there was. Hey. That launches me up, yes. Here we go. Eh, there's no way I'm gonna get those guys. Second one? Yep. Okay, onward. Yeah, grab the thing, thank you. I thought you were gonna miss it. Uh, ooh, this looks fun. Let's do it. Perfect. Not quite perfect. Still not quite. There you, there you go. Ooh. That's probably gonna disappear. Hey. Nice one. I don't believe getting a skull coin while the Loom King is active will get you double. That would be nice, but I don't think it does. Speaking of, more things. Jeez! Oh, I didn't see that. Pretty great, though. Uh, anything else over here? No. This looks like the last room to me. Ooh. Heh <laughs> heh. Wow, that was a painfully easy room. Bam. There we go. That's that one done as well. So how many did we get? 336. It might be 350 for this one. No, 300. Wow. 350 for the total, though. Pretty close, then. As I said, not too worried about the medals. Bam. Alright. Uh, what's next? What's next? I got five from that, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, new character, don't care. Swinging games, okay. Um, why don't we leave it off here? So I know this is only the first episode, and you may not be interested yet. I don't know, trust me, the game gets more interesting later. The, the levels will be quite challenging. You might not expect it from this very, very colourful, happy, fun game. You might not expect things get difficult, but oh boy, they do. Trust me when I say that. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.